Hello, all creative filmmakers. In this video, I am going to show you, how to animate multi-screen photos or video, in Premiere Pro, as you can see. This is a requested video. So let's start. Now we are inside Premiere Pro. Here, you can see, I have already got a photo. You can use any photo or video. First of all, drag and drop this photo, to the timeline. Then, extend the duration of the photo. Next, select the photo. And, right click on this photo. Then, we have to click on the nest option, to nest the photo. Now, I'm going to rename the nested sequence name, photo placeholder. The reason for doing this, is that later we can change our photo, from this placeholder, at any time. Now, move this photo layer 2 track up above. Now, I'm going to add a solid background. That's why, click on this icon. And then, click on the color mat option, to create a color mat. Next, select any color that you like. And now, click on OK. After that, drag and drop this color mat, to the timeline. Now, we have to create a mask of this photo. I have imported a frame as a helper, to create the mask properly. Next, drag and drop this frame, to the timeline. If you unlock the photo layer, you can see the frame. We will mask the photo with the border, around this frame. Next, unlock the photo layer. And, select the photo. Then, move over to the effect controls panel. Now, from the opacity section, we have to click on this rectangular mask, or 4 point polygon mask, to create our mask. And now you can see, it has created a mask. Next, from the program monitor, we need to hover, at the corner, till we get that kind of rotational symbol, and then, press shift, and then, we will get this double arrow. And, once we see the double arrow, then click, and scale up. Now, we have to make these sides, a little bit closer to this frame border edge, and on the other side as well. Now, you can see, our mask is almost ready. After that, remove the helping frame from the timeline. Now, make the mask feather value 0. And, make the mask expansion value, around 15. Now, you can see, our mask is ready. Next, we have to select the photo layer, and the color mat layer. Then, right click. And, we have to click on the nest option, to nest the layers. Now, I'm going to rename the nested sequence name, photo mask. Now, Move the layer 1 track up above. Next, move over to the project panel. And, we have to drag and drop this color mat, to the timeline. Now, we have to duplicate this photo layer two times, by holding the Alt key, combined with the right mouse button. And then, drag this one track up. So, in total, we need three copies of the same layer. After that select all the photo mask layers. And, move over to the effects panel, to add an effect, this is a replicate effect. Now, drag and drop this replicate effect, to the selected layers. Then, select the top layer, and move over to the effect controls panel. From the replicate effect, we have to make the count value, around 3. Now, you can see the changes. In the same way, from the replicate effect, we have to make the count value around 3, of the middle and bottom layers. Now, I am going to lock the top layer, and the bottom layer. In the middle layer, we have to create a mask. For this layer, we need these three photos, of the middle row. That's why, we have to remove the top three photos, and bottom three photos, by creating the mask. Now, from the opacity section, we have to click on this rectangular mask, or 4 point polygon mask, to create a mask. And now, you can see, it has created a mask. Then, from the program monitor, we have to select two of the corners. As you can see, both of these corners, are filled in solid blue. Now, at this point, we have to click, and press shift. 
and it will lock into place. Now, we can drag it over just like that. In the same way, expand the other side. Select two of the corners. As you can see, both of these corners are filled in solid blue. Now, at this point, we have to click and press shift. And it will lock into place. Now, we can drag it over just like that. In the same way, we have to expand the top side and the bottom side. Now, we are done. Next, make the mask feather value 0. Now, you can see, our mask is ready. Now, unlock the top layer and the bottom layer. Next, select the top layer and move over to the effects panel to add some effects. First of all, I am going to add transform effect to the top layer. Now, drag and drop this transform effect to the top layer. Next, I am going to apply the offset effect. Now, drag and drop this offset effect two times to the top layer. Then, move over to the effect controls panel. Now, make the right position value around minus 317. Next, from the transform effect, we have to make the scale value around 119. Now, move the playhead to the beginning of the layer. After that, from the first offset effect, we have to click on this stopwatch icon to enable the first keyframe of the shift center and make the left position value around minus 5738. Then, move the playhead two seconds forward. After that, Click on this icon to create the second keyframe and make the left position value around minus 1850. Now, right click on this last keyframe. Then, click on Ease In. Again, right click on this first keyframe. Then, click on Ease Out. Next, click here to open the graph panel. Then, select the last keyframe and drag the handle to the left. Then, from here, move the playhead 30 frames backward. After that, from the second offset effect, we have to click on this stopwatch icon to enable the first keyframe of the shift center. Then, move the playhead 2 seconds forward and make the left position value around 1660. Now, right click on this last keyframe. Then, click on, Ease In. Again, right click on this first keyframe. Then, click on, Ease Out. Next, click here, to open the graph panel. Then, select the last keyframe. And, drag the handle to the left. Now we are done. Let's select the middle layer and move over to the effects panel to add some effects first of all i'm going to apply the transform effect to the middle layer now drag and drop this transform effect to the middle layer next i'm going to apply the offset effect now drag and drop this offset effect to the middle layer next move over to the effect controls panel then from the transform effect we have to make the scale value around 119. Here, you can see, by mistake, there are two transform effects applied. So, I am going to remove this effect. After that, from the offset effect, we have to click on this stopwatch icon to enable the first keyframe of the shift center and make the left position value around minus 2651. Next, move the first keyframe to the beginning of the layer. Then, move the playhead at the 2 seconds. After that, click on this icon to create the second keyframe and make the left position value around 960. Now, right click on this last keyframe. Then, click on Ease In. Again, right click on this first keyframe. Then, click on Ease Out. Next, click here to open the graph panel. Then, select the last keyframe. And, 
drag the handle to the left. Now, let's select the bottom layer. And, move over to the effects panel, to add some effects. First of all, I am going to add transform effect, to the bottom layer. Now, drag and drop this transform effect, to the bottom layer. Next, I am going to apply the offset effect. Now, drag and drop this offset effect, to the bottom layer. Then, move over to the effect controls panel. Now, make the right position value, around 1397. Now, here, you can see, the white space is very big, don't worry. From the transform effect, we have to make the scale value, around 119. Now, move the playhead, to the beginning, of the layer. After that, from the offset effect, we have to click on this stopwatch icon, to enable the first keyframe, of the shift center. And, make the left position value, around minus 6189. Then, move the playhead, 2 seconds forward. After that, make the left position value, around minus 1850. Now, right click on this last keyframe. Then, click on, ease in. Again, right click on this first keyframe. Then, click on, ease out. Next, click here, to open the graph panel. Then, select the last keyframe. And, drag the handle to the left. Now, we have to add another offset effect, to this bottom layer. Drag and drop this offset effect, to the bottom layer. And move over to the effect controls panel. Now, move the playhead, 30 frames backward. From the offset effect, we have to click on this stopwatch icon, to enable the first keyframe, of the shift center. Then, move the playhead, 2 seconds forward. After that, make the left position value, around 230. Now, right click on this last keyframe. Then, click on, ease in. Again, right click on this first keyframe. Then, click on, ease out. Next, click here, to open the graph panel. Then, select the last keyframe. And, drag the handle, to the left. Now we are done. From one side to another side, multi-screen animation is ready. So, let's preview. Now, I am going to add, a little bit zoom in effect, with rotation. As you can see. So, let's see, how to make this. First of all, click on this icon, to create an adjustment layer. Now, drag and drop this adjustment layer, into the timeline. Now, move over to the effects panel, to add some effects. First of all, I am going to add, the transform effect. Now, drag and drop this transform effect, to the adjustment layer. Next, move over to the effect controls panel. Now, move the playhead, at the 1 second. From the transform effect, we have to click on this stopwatch icon, to create the first keyframe, of the scale. And now, make the scale value, around 112. After that, move the playhead, 2 seconds forward. And, make the scale value, around 190. Now, right click on this last keyframe. Then, click on, ease in. Again, right click on this first keyframe. Then, click on, ease out. Next, click here, to open the graph panel. Then, select the last keyframe. And, drag the handle, to the left. Then, move the playhead, to the beginning of the layer. From the transform effect, we have to click on this stopwatch icon, to create the first keyframe, of the rotation. After that, move the playhead, 2 seconds forward. And, make the rotation value, around 4. Now, right click on this last keyframe. Then, click on, ease in. Again, right click on this first keyframe. Then, click on, ease out. Next, click here, to open the graph panel. Then, select the last keyframe. And, drag the handle, to the left. Next, 
move over to the project panel. Now, drag and drop this adjustment layer, to the timeline. Now, move over to the effects panel, to add some effects. First of all, I am going to add the transform effect. Now, drag and drop this transform effect, to the adjustment layer. Then, move over to the effect controls panel. And, move the playhead, to the beginning of the layer. From the transform effect, we have to click on this stopwatch icon, to create the first keyframe, of the scale. Now, move the playhead, 3 seconds forward. And, make the scale value, around 110. Now we are done. Here, you can see, our dynamic multi-screen animation is ready. So, let's preview. In this way, you can make your multi-screen animation, in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.